Okay, so here's your Kenmore Whirlpool slider. This one is stuck, you can see. Well, let's go back to the beginning. You've got your key, you take your top off. This is the rod that holds this basically in place here. You have to take that rod off. And you lift up on this and pull out. You can see it's got these little things in here that keep it in. If you lift up on it, it'll pull it out of that, and then you can pull it out. And once you pull it out, you can take a look at it, and you can see there's coins inside of it, and it's stuck. It won't go forward. So, what I usually do is I'll take these springs off, and get them loose, and take this top part off. There's two Phillips screws that hold it on. And then take it and take a look inside there normally. If you just lube it up, you'll be okay. So let me get my screwdriver and get to work. Okay, so got that top off. I'm also going to lube the whole slider. But here's the top. Got a little bit of grease, and I'm going to just put a little bit of grease inside that top. And hopefully that will solve the problem. Okay, so part of the problem is that these things here, uh, if these screws are loose at all, uh, these things don't line up very well, so you got to like straighten them out. Once you straighten them out and then tighten up those screws, you'll be able to pull the slider back out, theoretically, but not the case. So I haven't lubed this yet. You can see these things, they get off center. So you have to straighten these out and then tighten up these screws. Okay, so it's not what I thought it was. What it is, is if you look underneath, you can see that there's no screw holding that coin sleeve in. And what happens is that coin sleeve gets sloppy and it will lock it up. And we actually found this this coin sleeve uh, screw in here. So I was feeling around in here and found it and dropped down. And so we just put it back on and lube everything up again. And should be good. Knock wood. You can see that one there. Looks like I hot glued together because I was missing a screw on one of them. Now this screw here, these screws here notoriously will strip out. And that's probably what's happened to this one because it doesn't feel like it's one I want to grab. So I'm going to probably have to epoxy this one in just like that one. I think I used hot glue on that. Uh, that's the problem. That's why I, hang, why I hang up sometimes. It's just this little coin sleeve thing. Gets loose. And that should solve the problem. Okay, and there it is. Use a little hot glue. Always comes in handy. Put a little goop on there too. Um, so get it all back together. Should be fine. Should be fine. This one here we could beef up to. Three quarters, uh, 175, $2, $2.50. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm leaving that screw out because I think it was hanging out there. And uh, I'm going to show you my hot glue technique. You get a little hot glue uh, strip here. And the thing about hot glue is it dries matter of minutes and then you can work with it so basically I take uh, my lighter and heat up the hot glue and then uh, fill it in here I'm leaving that screw out I'm just going to use hot glue and I've actually glued it in with goop um, the hot glue will go on the outside of it the glue is kind of in the inside going right here and that should hold it in fine squash it down a little bit I 
should be fine. Let that dry for a minute. So I glued, I actually gooped it in, just the inside part, because if you get anything kind of like sticking out or anything, it might obstruct the slide of it, so I let, that's why I left that screw out. It was stripped anyway. It wouldn't really do much good. So, okay, got uh, it yeah. all, all back together. Second time. Let's give it a try. See what happens. There it is. Jackpot. Okay. So just make sure that this stuff lines up. Make sure these are nice and tight, these screws. Should be good. Okay, here's an extra added bonus. Um, so this is our timing options. Listen to screw securing the timer bracket to the meter case and lift the timer assembly out. Remove the nylon timing cam. Rotate the cam by hand until V notch lines up underneath the ratchet tooth. Insert narrow screwdriver under the nylon cam close to the timer shaft. Lift the cam gently off shaft. Make sure that the pressure is directed upward and the V notch clears the ratchet tooth. Replace the new timing cam. Be sure to drive be sure drive lug is in place. Place cam hub knob down. Over timer shaft lining up flat on the shaft. The flat of the drive lug hole. So apparently this is for when you put in a new cam, the new timing cam. Um, I normally don't mess with this. What I usually do is I'll just bump up the uh, coinage on the slider 